What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. That's what I'm affectionately known as here on YouTube. I talk about fragrance and fashion on this channel. So if you're interested uh, in fashion and fragrance related content, I hope you won't mind hitting subscribe. And if you do that, make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way when a new video is uploaded on my channel, you'll get notified. Guys, we are officially, officially in the season of fall. All right. And as I said before, when I did my top 10 fall niche and designer list for this year, I told you guys that fall is one of my favorite seasons, uh, not only for fragrances, but for football and fashion as well. Just absolutely love this season. If I had to really rank the seasons based on uh, scent profiles that I love, fall is definitely at, uh, like I said, at the top of the list, man. It's a transitional season. So you can get away with wearing stuff that is really, really fresh. Uh, but by the same token, on those colder days, you can start to really venture into some of those heavier, richer, deeper fragrances. And that's what I love about it. So what I decided to do was make a comprehensive list. Ten of the best fall fragrances that I feel of all time that I currently have in my collection right now. So that's what we're going to be getting into today. Listen, I just love talking about fall fragrances, all right? So if you want to hear what's on the list, you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video today. The first fragrance up is a no-brainer. This fragrance was released a little more recently here, but it does not change the fact that there's no way you can talk about fall slash autumn, the best fragrances of all time. Honestly, now, in my opinion, and leave this fragrance off because it smells just like the autumn. This is from the brand of Mason Margiela, the replica line, and this is called Autumn Vibes. Autumn Vibes. And everything about this speaks to the fall slash autumn season. And that's what it smells like in a bottle. It's one of the things I love about fragrances from this replica line. You don't really have to really think deep, long, and hard about what practical way you can go about describing the fragrance because it's in the name of the fragrance. This smells like the autumn season. And again, if you're going to talk about fall fragrances, how can you leave off a fragrance that is quintessentially autumn or fall? Um, how does this accomplish? Well, there's spices here, cardamom, nutmeg. So that those spices are warmer spices that remind me of cooler weather fall season. You have pink pepper in here as well. Uh, but on the dry down, man, that's when you start to get, you know, this maple accord in here that is sweet, kind of syrupy. Um, which in a weird way reminds me of the autumn season uh, when you think about it. And then on the dry down as well, that earthiness that reminds you of the, the outside elements. You know, the moss, the cedar wood, you know, so it's woody. Again, a little bit green. This just smells like the fall. You know, again, I told you guys when you have uh, imagery, if you look up imagery for the fall and you see those warm colors, the browns, the hues of brown. The oranges, the reds, uh, yellow, goldish colors. That's what this fragrance smells like in a bottle. Outside, the leaves on the ground. Um, this is it in the bottle. This is autumn. So definitely had to be on the list from the brand of Replica, uh, Mason Margiela, the Replica line. This is Autumn Vibes. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Jerjoff, and this is a Naxos. This is Naxos, guys. Look at the color of this juice, man. This is another fragrance that is so reminiscent of the fall for me. I mean, obviously, I could have went with uh, Pure Havan here, which some people say kind of resembles this fragrance. I can kind of see that, but they're different to me. And primarily, the difference maker, as I've always said between those two, is that lavender. It gives that little bit of a more fresh, more masculine, traditional masculine feel. Uh, to this fragrance when you compare it to Pure Havon, which is a little more of a sweeter uh, fragrance. But guys, lavender, uh, cinnamon, honey, tobacco, 
tonka bean. Those are the main notes in this fragrance. And again, when I date and go all the way back to uh, my early years being uh, a fragrance reviewer in the whole nine, this fragrance has a lot of nostalgia for me and is one of the first fragrances that really, to me, scream this is a fragrance that I should wear in the fall season. Everything about it from the juice color uh, to the actual scent profile is a great fragrance that is very transitional. All right, this is very transitional. You can get away with wearing this when it's about 75 to 80 degrees outside. You can get away with wearing this when it's 60 or between that 60 to, you know, 40 degree temperatures as well. Just perfect for the fall, no matter where you are in the world. And I uh, love this stuff. You know, it is also one of my favorite spices in here as well, cinnamon, which makes me think of the fall season as well. But anyway, great fragrance for the fall. I wouldn't fault anybody for going with Pure Havan here as well, but I went with this one, George Off Naxos. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the brand of Hermes. This is from their more kind of exclusive line. This one is called Ombre Nargile. Ombre Nargile, this is the original fragrance that kind of has that apple pie vibe to it. There are other fragrances that kind of went in this direction. Think about Wajon from Parfums de Marley. Uh, a lot of other fragrances. I've done a list before that, and I had about 10 fragrances that give you that same vibe. Ombre to back from Daniel Hosea. But this to me was kind of the originator, or one of the originators of that kind of apple pie kind of DNA. Cinnamon, honey, vanilla, tonka, you know, really, really sweet uh, fragrance, which again, takes my mind directly to the fall season. I love spices in the fall, right? Cinnamon, nutmeg, you know, cloves, those kind of spices just really start to remind me of the fall season because the weather's starting to cool down. Warm spices, you get where I'm going with this. But again, classic fragrance here. A lot of people uh, used to talk about this fragrance. Not as many people speak about it now as they used to, but it's a classic fall fragrance in my humble opinion. From the brand of Hermes, again, this one is called Ombre Narcule. All right, guys, now this next fragrance comes from the house of by Killian. And honestly, I could do a whole list like this with just Killian fragrances, but this is one of the best, I would say, out of all of them for the fall, and this is Angel Share. Angel Share, guys, this is another one that's going to kind of put you uh, in the mindset of the previous fragrance I described, uh, which is the Ombre Narcule. Kind of have... Uh, some similar vibes. They don't smell alike, but you know, they kind of have that same sweetness here. This is another fragrance that features those sweeter notes. Cinnamon, tonka bean, praline. There's a slight boozy uh, cognac accord in this as well. Rum. This thing is just mind-blowing good. And again, in the fall time, these fragrances that start to dive into or delve into that little bit of a sweet kind of gourmand category, Perfect time of the year, in my humble opinion, to wear this. You know, as we transition to fall and then even as we go into the winter time, these fragrances absolutely shine. Um, this is one of the best fragrances in my collection for the fall, in my humble opinion. Absolutely love this stuff. I'm really low. Here's what I want to have to re up when this one runs out. This is one I always have in the collection, man. From the brand of By Killian, this is Angel Share. All right, guys, the next fragrance comes from the brand of Unuit Nomad. I've talked a lot about this fragrance. You guys need to get your nose on this thing, man. Especially if you like the note of plum. This is called Ombre Kinjar. Ombre Kinjar. My God, is this good. Again, standout fragrance right here. It features the note of plum up front. A very ripe, juicy uh, plum note up top. Labdanum uh, is in this as well. So it starts to get sweet and kind of resinous as it dries down. Beautiful amber cord uh, in this particular fragrance. Guys, like I said, if you like plum, this is one you got to get your nose on. For the fall season, to me, this one has the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of resins without being too dark, too deep, where I would really push this more into more of a, uh, being better for the winter. You can wear it there, obviously, but fall, to me, perfect time to wear this fragrance. Oh, my gosh. Guys, not enough people talk about this fragrance. And again, I am telling you guys, this is one of the best fragrances on the market. If you're thinking about the fall season, again, this is from the brand of Unuit Nomad, and this fragrance is called Ombre Kinjar. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list is another classic. Uh, it actually features some notes that I've talked about here, but other fragrances on this list. Um, to me, again, outside of spices, the fall is the season of honey. All right. And this fragrance comes from the brand of Serge Lutins, and this is Shergi. 
Cher Gee. This fragrance right here, classic fragrance, well loved, well deserved acclaim. Honey, tobacco, there's this hay accord uh, in here as well. Guys, this is one of those fragrances that, you know, if you've been in the fragrance community, whether it's been five minutes or five years, I'm sure you've probably heard about this classically good fragrance, man. Listen, like I said, there's just certain notes that really work in the fall. And like I said, honey seems to be one of those notes for me. As this starts to dry down, you're also going to get a very prominent note of iris. So it's really powdery as well. There's some rose on the dry down of this one as well, but this is just dynamic, all right? One of the fragrances I'm telling you that in my opinion, at some point in time, if you haven't yet, this is one you just have to smell. It's that good. Oh my gosh, one of those ones that you go back to and you are, uh, if, you have, if you're struggling um, like I do at times with some of the newer releases, just go back and smell stuff like this. And it reminds you how great fragrances can be. From the brand of Serge Lutins, this is Cherokee. The next fragrance up on the list comes from the brand of Amouage, and this one is called Journeyman. This is Journeyman. This is one of my favorite bottle presentations uh, in my entire collection. I love this bottle, and I love this fragrance. When I got into fragrances and I read the notes on this fragrance, I knew it was one I had to have in my collection. You have tobacco in here. It's a little bit of an incense-y uh, kind of vibe as well, and tonka bean. To me, those are the main notes in this really spicy Sichuan pepper up top. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. It's one of my favorite Amouage fragrances, and I have a lot of them in my collection, and that's really saying something. There's a lot of them that will be good in this season, but to me, this one is the best. Again, from the brand of Amouage, this is called Journeyman. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on this list, this fragrance is so freaking delicious. That's the way, best way I can describe this fragrance, man, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I show you the bottle. This is Ombre Eccentrico. This is Ombre Eccentrico, guys. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. The bottle is stunning. This is from the Armani Privé collection. <sighs> if you love fragrance, uh, amber fragrances, if you love gourmand scents, this is one you gotta smell. Again, this smells like raisin bread baking in the oven. That's exactly what this smells like. Bread, raisin pudding. I think that's a such thing. Raisin bread pudding or something like that. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. Um, an amber accord, obviously, there's dates, there's dried fruits in this one. Oh my gosh. Guys, this, you smell this fragrance, it's going to make you hungry. <laughs> it's going to make you want like an oatmeal raisin cookie. That's exactly what this smells like. An oatmeal raisin cookie uh, is what comes to my mind when I smell this. This thing smells absolutely phenomenal, seriously. And when I think about the fall season, I, like I told you guys, I think about the holidays, and I think about those kind of desserts and things of that nature. And that's exactly what this puts me in the mindset of. Oh, man. You gotta smell it. From the Armani Privé Collection. Again, check out Ombre Eccentrico. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the brand of Sense of Woods, and this is Plum and Cognac. Plum and Cognac, as you guys can see, I love the note of plum, and I love this fragrance. Plum, rum, cinnamon, vanilla. You guys know where I'm going with this, man. This is an amazing fragrance. For you guys up there, out there that have always wanted to get your nose on Plum Japonais from Tom Ford, this is one of the closest things that I would say to that fragrance if you're unable to smell that masterpiece of a fragrance. This fragrance definitely, again, is a good, i say replacement if you've never been able to get your nose on that. This is just as good, man. Oh, man. Masterfully done, Sense of Wood. Great for the fall time, obviously another one you can get away with wearing in the winter as well, but it's perfect for the fall. The sweetness, that juicy, sensual plum in the opening of, of this fragrance, man, and when it dries down, this get some labdenum in here as well. This is just a phenomenal fragrance, guys. So check it out if you can from the brand of Sense of Woods. This is called Plum and Cognac. All right, guys, and last but not least, this fragrance comes from the brand of Frederick Mall, and this is called French Lover. This is French Lover, and this is, this is for the masculine gentleman out there that's looking for something great to put on in the fall that's going to make you smell like the man. Now, that's exactly what this is, man. There's other fragrances I've talked about before. If you've never smelled this one, and you smell those, it's going to put you in the mindset of Sycamore from Chanel. 
Spice and Woods from Creed. All three of these fragrances have a very similar scent then that you have the spices on top, a little bit of greenness, woods on the bottom. In a, in a nutshell, that's the best way to describe this fragrance. And this is phenomenal. I go back and forth between the three of which one I like the most, but you know, they all again really uh, give off a very similar scent profile and they smell similar coming off the skin. Although there's some small nuances that are different with each of them, but I love this stuff, man. And you can in the fall time, it's just all about the spices, man. It's all about the spices, uh, the woods and that slight hint of greenery that's in here as well. Oh man, home run, home run fragrance, perfect for the fall. From the brand of Frederick Mall, this is called French Lover. But that is it, guys. That is my time. What are some fragrances you have in your collection that you think are the perfect fragrances to wear in the fall season? I would love to hear from you down in the comments section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it enter. Entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.